Okay, this next lesson is lesson 101. And <clears throat> we're gonna add some fractions again. And this, these are not equations. These are in this format. So what you will do is you will factor where you can factor, and then you'll look for the common denominator, and then you'll have to put in. It's not an equal sign, so you can't cancel, okay? You can't cancel these denominators. You have to make the denominators the same. Adding, subtracting, fractions. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this one. This is gonna be like this. Multiplies to negative 12 adds to negative one. There's nothing in front of it, it's a one. So that is four and three we're gonna use. And the four is gonna be negative because when we add these, we'll get a negative one. When we multiply these, we'll get a negative 12. So here we go, x minus four, x plus 3 minus p over x minus 4. Okay, now we have to get the denominators the same. And we do that by, well, this one and this has the same, but this one needs the x plus 3, doesn't it? So we're going to do it like this. We're going to multiply this one by x plus 3 and x plus 3. And then we have the same thing on the bottom, x minus 4 and x plus 3. This is 6x up here minus the p, x plus 3. And then if you, they want you to go ahead and turn it back to the way it was. So this is going to become like this. So you're going to rewrite it, 6x minus px minus 3p. So we're going to distribute this, and then they want this turned back into the x squared minus x minus 12. I probably wouldn't grade it wrong if you did it like this, but this is the most correct answer right here. So you do the 6x minus px and then minus 3p. And that's as far as you can go with that. Okay, let's do another one. So this one is 7 over x squared minus 5x minus 6 and then we're subtracting 5 and x squared minus 6x. Okay, so you have to factor them in the simplest forms. This is not an equation, so we have to get the, the denominators the same. And this one will look like this. Right, so what do we have that will multiply to negative six, six and one, and make the six negative so that we get these added as negative five. That becomes x minus six, x plus one minus five. And then they're gonna have you factor the common out here, x, x minus 6, and then we look what and see what we have. We, we have this and this, and we need an x, and we need that, don't we? 
So, so this one does. This one needs the X and the S. And this one needs the X. So we're going to put an X and an X. And over here, we're going to do the X plus 1 and the X plus 1. And then we're going to look at it and make sure we have everything. So we have all of that and all of that. So on the top, we have 7X minus 5x plus 1, and then on the bottom, we have x, x minus 6, x plus 1. And then they just left this like this, and they went ahead and simplified the top here. They left this alone, which... You know, you don't have to factor back here. You put another X in here, so you can just leave it like that. If you just leave the bottom like it is, that's fine for this class, okay? So then what happens on the top is you're going to have, I'll just fix it here some, since I'm out of room, you're going to have a 5, negative 5X five minus 5. And that becomes... 2x minus 5. So the top is 2x minus 5, and this is the bottom, once you simplify. And that's the answer. That's as far as you can go, right there. That's it. Okay. I'm going to do another one of these. I think these are a little, a little involved. Let's see. Let's do another one. Um, let's do this one. 4x plus 2 over x squared plus x minus 6 and then minus 4. They're going to make them all work out nice for you. You're not going to have any you know, weird stuff going on here. Okay, so let's let's simplify. We have to simplify the most we can. And the bottom is going to be x, x. So you're going to have a 2 and a 3, aren't you? And you want a, po a negative 2 to make this a positive one. So you're going to have minus two and plus three. Then let's look at the next one. There's a common X in there. Let's go ahead and factor that out. We have to get rid of these squares here is what we have to do in order to make this work. So uh, now what do we need? We have an X. We need an X over here, don't we? We need another X here. And over here, we need an X minus two, don't we? So we end up with x times 4x plus 2. Be sure and put that in parentheses. This right here needs to go in parentheses. Minus 4, and that needs to go in parentheses. This here. And then down below, we're going to have the x, and the x minus 2, and the x plus 3. And then let's see what else they do. They do go ahead and they keep simplifying it. And they do that by doing this trip distribution. So we're going to do 4x squared plus 2x. This is going to be a minus 4x and a plus 8 on the top. And that simplifies to 4x squared minus 2x plus 8. So that's the top. And then the bottom stays the same. The bottom stays the same. This goes to the top, and the bottom stays the same. 
Okay. I'll write it right here. I just don't have quite enough board space, do I? 4x squared minus 2x plus 8. And that is your answer. That's the answer. So they give you some of those to do, and that is lesson, that's the completion of lesson 101.